I'm going to show you some uh, coil making with my spock matic I got a piece of 28 gauge Cantal A1 resistant wire. And I'm going to cut a length. And I'm going to look for a resistance. Yeah, let's see. That's 1.9 ohms. Move up a little more. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, 2.3. 2 2.4. Look for like 2.5. about here is 2.5 so I'm going to cut it right about here <clears throat> all right let's double check Two point six, seven, two point eight. 2.8 all right with the weld over it it should come out to close to 2.5, I hope. I'm going to show you how to tack weld non-resistant wire to, uh, this is Cantal 28 gauge A1. I like to use my non-resistant wire on my negative so I don't mix up what's what. See, I'm going to put this in here. Making it as short as possible. And uh, I'm going to clean it off with some alcohol. Wipe the oils off. Okay, and on the positive, this is the piece I cut before. It's the Cantal. I'll leave it nice and short. Make sure it's good connection. I'm going to, have to clean it off. I'm going to turn on my Spock-O-Matic. And I'm going to bump it up. I'm trying to look for 75 volts. I wasn't paying attention. All right. This is my uh, discharge button. down George button Just looking for 75 Oop. go back up and it looks stable all right let's see if I could zoom this in maybe you could see it I want to tack this on okay Strong weld.